hello? Is this thing on? What's going on guys? It's Carl here and you can clearly see we are in somewhat of a new setup here. Lots to do still. There's tons of echo. I've got to work on so many different things, but I had to keep you guys updated and I kind of wanted to make this video on what's behind me. You can kind of see the setup that I'm rocking as it might possibly change. Some people might be eyeing this though and I'll give you my overall thoughts, I guess, on my new MacBook setup. So many of you know I'm rocking the 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch as my daily device and maybe some of the reason why I decided to upgrade this studio, it's a very sad, sad poison, is to create a sort of a setup around this main computer as it now serves as my main editing rig. So you can see behind me I have two monitors and those are the LG 27 inch 5K Ultra Fines. There are some things that I love, some things that I don't love. Let's kind of get into those. So in case you didn't know, Apple stopped creating cinema displays and now they've partnered up with LG to come out with these puppies here. They have a 4K option, slightly smaller. 5K, 27 inches, naturally bigger is usually better. So I went with the bigger option, got two of them and the actual resolution 5K is crystal clear. Probably the closest thing that you're gonna get if you compare that to the 5K iMac. 14.7 million pixels in one screen, 14.7 million in the other. Add that to the five, just over five million pixels in the MacBook Pro, and you are looking at a setup with a crazy close to 35 million pixels, which is kind of just mind blowing to me. So let me just say, if you're looking for a display that matches the quality and the clarity color reproduction of your MacBook Pro, even your 5K iMac, Hands down, this is the best display that I've currently seen on the market. A few floating around at CES, which we might see later this year, but there are some things that I kind of just don't like about it. And maybe we'll start with the overall unboxing experience. And I know this thing is made for Apple and that Apple collaborated, but if you unbox this thing, it's just a bit finicky. There are bits of styrofoam floating around, took me forever. And for Apple, there's no other word that I can really describe for what you pay for. It's that entire experience, whether that be from the unboxing to the setup to the actual use, things just seem to work and as they should for a ton of money. And sadly for these, I can't. If you can look past that, which 99% of the people can, there are still some things about the build which I'm not too fond of. It's mostly made out of plastic. The video on this definitely makes it seem a bit more underwhelming. It's slightly better in person, but I won't give it too much props for the overall design. Made out of plastic and once again compared to the 5K iMac, which is beautifully made out of aluminum, there just isn't that kind of comparison. If you look at the actual bezels of it, slightly chunky, slightly thick. So if you're running two side by side, you've got a nice big black bar in the middle. And of course that giant forehead, which I know a ton of people have been complaining about. I guess the upside, it does have a webcam, but to tell you the truth, when was the last time you used a webcam on a computer? You most probably FaceTime straight from your iPhone to tell you the truth. Well, at least for me. So port wise, this is where I'll give the 5K props. It's one of the first monitors that can utilize Thunderbolt 3 USB-C. So all you need is one handy cable to actually charge your MacBook Pro. I kind of have a weird setup where it sticks into both ends. And once again, that comes down to personal preference. And if you're as anal like someone like myself on setups and how detail oriented everything is, my assumption, if you've just dropped three to four grand on a computer, you want things to look good. And it just looks weird on both ends. Once again, if you're watching this video, just give me a little holler if you agree. It also has three USB three ports on the back, keeping things very minimal. And other than the power output, that's about it. And I think the saving grace for these monitors, they're currently on sale on Apple, 25% off, I think till March, they extended the savings for all USB-C related accessories. So if you're in the market, take advantage of that. I'm still not too convinced. I actually might be switching to an ultra wide setup. I'm really torn because it's kind of underwhelming to tell you the truth. But if you're looking for a one monitor setup, one cable setup, I think this might be your best option. And if you're really looking to have the same color reproduction, same clarity as say a 5K iMac, once again, I guess that means you'll have to stay tuned to the next episode to figure out what I'm gonna end up doing for my entire setup. Of course, links down below. 
Make sure you comment on what else I can do to this setup game, and I promise to give you guys an overall tour once everything is complete. I'll catch you guys in hopefully that next episode. Peace.